Hi everybody, welcome to the continuation of this last series. Uh, the last video we created, except this header, but we created this page already, where we have a nice looking home page. In this uh, next part of the video, we will be creating this about us page. This looks like this, where you can add more team members, of course, if you want to. And we're also going to create this contact page with a little simple contact form and a map with the location of the agency okay the other thing we're setting up here is the header although it's really simple just three uh, things we have to put in and then just by scrolling we make it like see through a little bit um, and it's also uh, shrinking a little bit this is uh, something standard we could we can do yeah um, the only thing we ha will have to adjust, you can see here, I'll, I'll did some custom, something uh, specific here to make this form go over the map. And you see, I put the value a little bit too high because it's the header goes underneath. So I can set this value probably a bit lower or I increase the value of this. So it goes ac across just like it does on this page. It's always should always be on top. Okay, but so this one, if you want to see, I'll put a link in the description below where you can create this page from scratch if you want to and if you want to follow from uh, today so we're going to create the header and we're going to create those two pages as always i'm now always providing you with the option to just download this complete website for free and then you can import it using the cadence starter templates um, so you have this website in like literally one minute you have this whole website installed on your uh, website i've also did the same thing for my for the last video with the uh, dynamic um, filterable car archive website where you could uh, can also do this um, and you, it's completely free you can optionally pay for it but you can just set the amount to zero and you can just download it for free and afterwards there will be a little installation guide as well which will prompt you or show you how you can uh, correctly install the website because it requires a little bit uh, steps in the right order let's say but uh, if you just follow the guide it will be literally one minute and you will have this website immediately so you can go the link in the description will be below as well where you can download it and otherwise if you want to learn how it works then you can follow me along in the next part of this video thanks and let's get into it so i opened up a new page we're going to now start adding some content so this will be our about us uh, about us page um, we're going to start by adding a row layout we're gonna make it a um, one column to start with and we're gonna add a advanced text block um, something like meet the team or whatever you want um, and we're gonna set in the overlaying uh, block here that the text should always be in the center yeah? if we then later on add more text it will always be uh, automatically centered and we don't have to do this individually okay so this is the first thing we have to set up then underneath we're adding a new row layout a two column one uh, and here we will be having the picture and the text on the other side. We will set the column gutter to none, so they are uh, close to each other because we want them actually to overlap in a minute. Um, and we're going to set inherit max width from team uh, as well, of course. Um, now we can add an uh, image uh, block here. An advanced image block, select an image. I already have my images here. You see, this is the image that I've used. We're gonna not set the, uh, we're gonna use a fixed ratio instead of like this because it's uh, making sure that every picture looks a bit the same. Uh, let me just go over what we can use here. This is not going to be nice. And this is going to be too big. So I'm gonna stick with the three by two or six, four by three maybe for now, okay. Actually, let's make it a square. It's gonna look nicer. Uh, square one by one. So, yeah. So that's look looking nice. And the max image width we're gonna set here 450 pixels, so it can't uh, become larger than that. And now we can also you see now it still has this much space across uh, this section. You see this image is inside of this section block, and the image is now quite a bit smaller than the width of the section so we can try to align the image to the um, right here that way it edges to the, the corner here or to the border here so we can easily overlap in a minute <clears throat> because otherwise it will require a lot of uh, negative margins to, to overlap but you will see in a minute then here we can add an info box for example um, we can use an icon you can use an image you can do whatever you want only learn more in text is fine for me alignment to the left is fine as well maybe yeah 
we're going to change the icon. So um, if we go to the styling tab and we go to the media settings, I want it to be an icon. I want it to align on the left side and I want it to be on the top. And I'm going to choose just a simple arrow icon. I'm going to call this John Smith. And then here we have our text. And the icon size, we can make this a little bit smaller if you wanted to, like 30 pixels, for example. And then we can um, increase or uh, put some styling on it. So if we go to our container settings, we can set a box shadow. We're going to select our uh, color here. We're going to use a negative value for the X, minus 1. Minus 1 should be like this. We're going to set a 1 over here. Um, I'm going to click on publish, just now seeing how it looks for starters. Okay, so now we have something like this. You see it's not actually what we want, but we are going to adjust a little bit more. So we're going to also set a blur of 1 and we're going to set spread of 1. So everything is 1. Then and this is going to be a little bit more obvious, the effect now. Yeah. And then if you hover, you can change the hover effect to, become, uh, to stay the same. Or you can also, if you click on hover here, we can also say it should be um, with this color. So the box shadow. is not changing colors but only changing the effect a little bit okay this box we want it to be aligned in the middle of course this will look nicer so we can do this by going to the overlaying row layouts and we can say align everything in the middle and it will immediately fix our issue now we also want to set the max width on this info box uh, maybe 400 pixels because it always under, otherwise will be quite large and for this uh, design I want it to be like this size and now we have to cross the bridge here where we have less uh, where we have it like a little bit of an overlap also some padding can be quite uh, so extra extra large on the top and on the bottom and then just a large one for left and right maybe so we have a really more like a square like uh, thing here okay and then we just have to scoot this one over so it's getting closer so there are uh, different options we can see if we can make it closer by changing something here let's try let's say align center and see if this changes anything so now we have this amount of space align center no this is not going to work so we know we can't really get it closer at the moment by changing something over there we also already set the column gutter to none uh, and why is this not why is there still so much space that's uh, because we set the max width on it if we remove this max width here click on update you will see now it's actually um, getting across so if you don't want to use the max width you can also set a lot of uh, margin to push it over let me show you I'm not going to use this technique but you could do this uh, let me set it to 5xl and I refresh this also makes it you see it also makes it smaller and the advantage is that it now sticks to the edge of the of the image so you don't have to put a lot of negative margin to make it work then you just have to check on mobile and on tablet view you probably have to decrease a bit of a margin uh, the other thing we can do if we uh, reset this one and we go back to our max width of 400 pixels um, is still use some negative margin but we have to just use a lot of negative margin to cross this bridge over here so let me just go we have to use the left one we're gonna have to use custom values minus let's just try with 120 pixels to start with and see what this gives and you see this is actually too much already so we can decrease it a little bit maybe minus 80 let's see how this one looks it's also looking quite fine maybe a little bit less could be minus 60 maybe so this is something just the taste a little bit is what you like so if you like this overlap you can leave it at minus 60 pixels if you like it a little bit uh, less you can even decrease it a little bit further okay the other thing we can do is set a little uh, filter on the image so if we click on the image again we can go to the uh, styling tab and then say um, um, image filter over here and just put it to a grayscale this fits more inside of the design i think fits more like this but again it's uh, all according to taste you can leave it to, with color if you want to then we can just um, duplicate this section so if we click on the three dots go to duplicate we have the exact same section underneath and then the thing we have to do is select a section and we're just going to click on this arrow so they switch position and that would change the image to the other picture and then we can say this is Jane Smith but then we have to of course 
remove the margin over here. Uh, by the way, you can also, I've set the margin uh, on the on the info box itself. You could also use the section, of course. That's also a possibility where you change the margin over here. I now used the info box, but that's uh, optional. You can see uh, if you want to try, you can use it with the section as well. So now we can use the same amount of uh, negative margin, but then now we can use this uh, image box, for example, and we're going to use uh, the same minus 60 to keep it consistent and see if it looks the same, uh, because that's not all always the case you see what is the biggest difference the image we don't we didn't align it to the right side so we have to we did align it to the right side I mean and uh, now it should of course align to the left side to make it the same effect as here you see it's now overlapping and then this one is still not coming across too well so let's see what we have to do here so i did a margin of minus 60 from the left on this uh, image um, but maybe we have to remove it and try it with the info box let me remove the margin and see the amount of space we have so this is the same as it was here on top as well so let's now try it with this now we have to use a negative margin on the right side to Get this info box to the right negative minus 60 update refresh and now you see it's getting across but the thing we have now is that it's not on the the image is going on top and we don't want this so we have to go we can use this section for that to go to the advanced step we go to the structure and we go to the z index and we can set a value um, normally you see often they put 9999 to be sure um, but normally here you have just one would probably also work yeah? so we have now two sections really easily created you know, with the grayscale effect because we duplicated it we just had to reverse the align left over here change it Align right over here to align left over here and then use this negative margin to the right and here we use it to the left because we have another orientation of course and then it's quite easy to create this design like this. I'm going to increase the spacing over here maybe a bit. So we can go, we can do this a different way. So we have our meet the team over here. Then we have the row layout. So we can say we want the margin on the top to be a bit bigger, extra, extra large like this. Okay. The other thing that we have to do is set the uh, background. You will see I've already, I'm going to select the overlaying row layout. So the, the biggest one, let's say, I'm going to click on style, select image, and I have it already over here and click on update uh, with the background image. And now you see this is working fine. The only thing is we have here a different background and here on top also a different background. So how can we fix this? For the left and the right, we can just say we make this full width, this section. And then for the top, we have to go to the page settings, content, uh, vertical padding and say bottom only or just disable it altogether. And then if we now refresh, you will see the image or the background goes across the whole page this spacing here if you don't like it we can increase this also a little bit by going to the second row layout go to the block settings advanced tab margin on the top and uh, put a bit of a space between the two person person's images so we have a bit more room here yeah uh, this uh, i created with a website let me open it up this is the website uh, i'll put the link in the description uh, below um, this is just a, it's a completely free. It's a, you can optionally donate if you want to. This is a person that created this for free, and these are all ro royalty free, so you can use them without any worry. You don't have to uh, you don't have to worry for everything. And you can make patterns like you want. You can set the styling that you want. They are there are different options over here, and you can also um, change the colors. So the styling here you have the colors so you can see whatever works for you so this is how i created the background that you see over here so play around with it if you're interested um, and otherwise you can just use a custom background that you have for yourself the only thing we want to change here is the effect uh, in the correct order here it's on the different uh, like the same way like it is over here if you want want it to have the right and the bottom border instead of the left and the bottom border we can just switch two values around to make this effect and so here we have a minus one for the x value just if we go to one this is actually sufficient and you will see now that the effect has switched so the border that overlays with the image is now having the uh, effect okay so this is actually almost everything we need to do here 
And then now we can, if we want a third person over here, then this would be the same layout as this one. So this makes it now easy because we have both done. We have this layout and we have um, this layout. So we can just again click on duplicate, select that duplicated row layout and scoot them over one level. Click on update and now we have immediately the exact same layout without having to change anything anymore. And now for this person, same thing, if you have a bigger team, you can just go to the third row layout, click on duplicate here and then also select it again and go one level below. Click on update and this way you can now easily just add persons and they will automatically always have the same layout because we've set both layouts here correctly, then it's easy to increase it even more. Okay. For this page, we will run, in, run into an issue if you want to make it responsive because this image is aligned to the right side and this one is aligned to the left side and this styling, if I open my inspect view, this styling st stays applied, you see, this image scoots all the way to the right and this one will scoot all the way to the left. So that's not what we want. So the only disadvantage now is that we have to change a little bit of uh, um, responsive settings if we go back to the page, because we can't do this responsive. We have to do a line right, but it will be for all screen sizes. So you see, as soon as we go to the small screen size, um, that is uh, now just aligns to the right side. So we might want to check the center, then it's immediately going to be looking okay if we both do align center, update, and we refresh the page, then we see that the images will go to the center by default. So now you see this works and this works as well. Uh, the other thing we all immediately can change here is the row layout is the um, collapse order. It should be uh, different on a tablet. So we go to the reverse and on mobile as well. Reverse is fine. Click on update and now you will see the image will go first. This is the first one, this is the image, and then we have the text. So this is already looking better now. The only thing we have by changing all this is that it just doesn't look as good anymore on the uh, normal view like we have over here. <clears throat> we have some um, overlap missing now, so we can increase the spacing a little bit. So if we go back here to our desktop view, because this is you can set this uh, individually. We can do it from the other side now as well a little bit. So if we now go from the image and we go from the right side, we do minus 30, for example, click on update, see if this works or not. You see it comes closer already. Let's make this minus 60. Like this, for example, yeah, we can increase this a little bit more. We can maybe even make this 100. Thousand would be a bit much minus 100 so we have some overlap yeah we can then do the same over here image advanced go to the uncheck here go to the left minus 100 update and refresh so we have this effect now okay then we can also go to the uh, tablet view over here and then uh, remove the just put it to a none, for example. Go over here to the tablet view and also to it, put it to none and see what we have now. So we have this still working on desktop. Go to inspect. We go to our tablet screen size. We see the image goes on top and we have this. And here we still, it goes a little bit slower. It's maybe a little bit smaller, the image. Um, so you see, this is the same. Uh, looking fine now, but we have to now change the orientation of uh, this one. So we have to just remove all the margin and padding that we have set. Uh, so we're going to remove this. Uh, so we can put this to horizontal where we can put center, no wrap, middle, update. And now we see it works fine. It's aligned in the center. For this one, we don't want to do the same. So we go to this one, <clears throat> advanced step. We're going to remove the margin on the, the right. We're going to go to the overlaying section. We're going to set this to horizontal and click on uh, center over here. No wrap and click on updates. Voila, so this is already working fine. And now we can choose, or we want if we want a little bit of an overlap effect over here, we can go to the advanced tab and now go to the margin on the top and do minus um, 
I have to make sure we select the info box. <clears throat> we go to margin on the top. And we're going to say minus uh, 30, for example, and see what this gives us. Let's have a look. Now we still have some kind of an overlaying effect uh, over here. So this is something we could do. And this has changed back to minus 60 for whatever reason. I want this to be zero, yeah. And now we can do the same over here, the info box, go over here, go to the top, do minus 30, and then, yeah, okay, if we put in values, it changes it to minus 60. And then refresh. So this way we still have the overlay effect, uh, but now it's working fine. And on a mobile, it will inherit the styling that we've put on a uh, tablet view. So it looks like this, but here we have to do something about the uh, padding probably because this button is not looking all too nice. So we can also start with the tab over here and we can change the padding. We can maybe link them all together and just set it to extra, extra small. And then do the same over here, advanced, link them all together and set it to extra, extra small. And then we could also change the orientation of the uh, icon. <clears throat> if we go to style, to our media, we can say the uh, on, on the mobile view, the media align should be on the top, for example. This gives us more room for the rest of the text, for example. Um, or you could do it on the right side, whatever you want, but if you put it on top, we, ha we will have more uh, space for the text. So let me just show you how it looks if we do it that way. Now we have this, so we might even want to increase some padding. If we keep the icon on the left side, then we have it like this, so this looks quite okay, I think. And now you can again choose to just have the uh, it just making it contact here, or we can add a little bit of space in between, or increase a bit of space. Column gutter on, so it's a row gutter on mobile, we're gonna set, for example, medium. And then we also have to um, put the margin on the top set it to none and to none over here same thing for this one on mobile set it to none specifically and to none specifically click on update refresh and now we have some space uh, in between you see the medium space uh, that we have set here we don't have it yet i forgot something maybe row layouts medium like this so we have the two kinds of layouts so we here we keep the icon on the left side and then this one we keep it on the top side yeah, i like this one more it will just become a little bit squished together on smaller screen size but it still works good enough i think so i'm gonna maybe keep it consistent and move this one across as well where we have the media settings on the left here and then here on the top so it's completely the same so now we will have a responsive website this page will work fine uh, because it was a bit weird with the image align so now we have this effect on mobile if we go to tablet view we have the minus 30 pixels this one is increasing way later so this is the desktop view and then starting on tablet we have this i'll just have to check why this one is getting okay i already see what i did wrong i think let me go back to my row layouts on tablets we have this layout we're just gonna force it uh, for tablet and i click on update refresh and then now as soon as we go to the tablet view they both have the same layout so what the thing i was that i forgot was with the row layouts 
was that I didn't put it specifically to collapse. So it keeps the it keeps it in this layout as long as possible and it collapses by default for as soon as it doesn't fit on the screen anymore. But if you want it to specifically as soon as it hits the breakpoint for a tablet, you have, I have to specifically click on it and I didn't do it. I did this over here, I did it. So that's why it changed a little bit later. But now you see on desktop, we have this layout and on, on, mob, on tablet, we both have this layout and this will stay and then on mobile screen, it has the spacing underneath. On tablet screen, it has the uh, across effect. So now this is working fine. All right, finally, we did it. Nice. Okay. Um, then we can uh, now do the contact um, page. Um, let's uh, open up a new page. Click on new and then go new page. And then make this a contact page. We're gonna select start again with the row layout, uh, with the one column row layout. And in this, we're gonna first add advanced text. Um, gonna select the overlaying section to set the text alignment in the middle. And then say, uh, drop us a line. Make this a bigger uh, text. I think I made, I put it in contact us like this. And then underneath another text block just a paragraph one now and here I said uh, drop us a line drop us a line like this click on update the thing we have to put underneath now is a, a form so we can use the advanced form from cadence we're gonna create a new one uh, you can choose one of the default layouts if you want to I'm just gonna use this default uh, contact uh, form gonna select a uh, basic one here contact form create so now we have the basic one already created for us um, and now we're going to change a little bit the uh, layouts so you uh, what you saw in the in the preview if we go to the styling tab we're going to set the input color to our darkest color placeholder color, color as well um, input background we're going to leave open for now um, and then we're going to go to the background so we're going to set the background to our light uh, color already click on update and save and open up this page here so now we have something like this, which looks quite ugly, eh? but we have to change a lot of stuff yet. We have to make it less wide, of course, so we can do this over here, the max uh, width. You can play around with some values if you want to. Let me start with 600 pixels. This is the amount that I've used in the um, website that you saw. And you see this immediately looks uh, fine. Um, I think I messed up the background. I've used the lighter blue color. This is a little bit nicer looking. I've used uh, this one. Yeah. So this is immediately a different look, uh, you see. Then uh, with the styling tab again, we can also set a little border radius here. Um, so if we select them all, we say 8 pixels. We make it a little bit rounded here in the corners. So it looks a little bit consistent. Let's see how it looks here. Okay, this is already looking nicer. Let's change the button how now. Um, so we can do just the team one. If you wanted to have the same layout as we have in the team, then it will stay consistent with this button as well because it will inherit the team styles, the same same thing we have already. Okay, we want a little bit more padding. Um, so if we go to the advanced tab, the padding in the, uh, the form settings, we need to have advanced tab, the padding. We select everything linked and we're going to set it to a large padding. And then in the styling tab, we might want to put this to medium, medium, and then input background, change it to white color. It's already white by default. Um, the border is going to be zero. So you saw by default, there is like a one, a little line you see now between it's back. So I'm going to set it specifically to zero. I like this more. <clears throat> And then we can also set the font size maybe to small over here. And then the labels as well, I'm going to set them to small like this. The labels have different options here. Um, advanced label settings. Um, or where is it that we can set it? It was somewhere over here. Here, label layout style. You can say in field. This means that if you click on it, it stays there. But you also have the other option where you can put it um, float label. This is also in field. And if they click on it, it floats above. So these are the three options you have if you want to do something different with your labels. I'm just going to 
uh, put the normal for now and see how this one works click on refresh the page so we have the increased padding we have the border that's gone and we have just the normal on the top um, <clears throat> label so this looks fine for me uh, and the submit button okay and then we're going to add another row layout let's close this one add after slash row layouts uh, one column one we're going to set this one to uh, full width and we're going to use the uh, maps block it's also a google maps block by cadence where we can so you see the golden gate bridge is here by default you can set the preferred zoom if you want to we can set this to grayscale if we want to um, styling i'm not going to bother now i'm just going to refresh first and see how it looks and you see we have something like this we have to remove the spacing here i want it to span across the whole uh, website so we go to the row layout go to the advanced we're going to undo padding from the left and from the right and click on update refresh and now you see this works fine now we want to get this a bit higher so it goes underneath the form so we have a little bit of a floating effect of the form so we can select the row layout we can go to the padding on the top and we're going to have to use a negative value again let's start with minus 100 and see where we end up with so we have minus 100 this is already looking fine distance wise but we have to set the um, z index a bit higher so it's coming across here so our row layout we go to the advanced tab we go to structure and we can set here a z index of uh, for example let's see with just one if this works or not nope this is not sufficient we can go to the other row layout go to the same settings and set this to minus one and see what this does and then you see it actually disappears completely so this means that it now has a less that's just going below the background of the site so uh, this is probably not a good option in this case so we're going to leave this option open so we have at least the view of our map that's not disappearing i'm just going to increase the z index over here so let's see if we just put 99 you see immediately it changes maybe if 10 works yeah 10 works as well so let's use a 10 value here voila now we have the effect we want to and so we have a little effect uh, over here if you followed along uh, you will probably have something like this uh, now um, i didn't see my i had some custom code already in the customizer and i didn't delete it so my uh, styling was applied already on the form while i was busy styling it so uh, if you followed along with the video and you didn't have the custom code you probably have this view now and not the nice centered one that i have um, i'll put the code that i've used in the description also below uh, this video and I'll just put it in now so if you have followed along you will probably have this by now and then in the customizer I have used some additional CSS let me paste it in so I've selected with this I've selected the form I put a margin zero auto this centers it in the center of the page I've put a border radius of eight pixels so we have the rounded corners just as the input fields and I put a little box shadow with a light gray uh, color as well around it and if I then refresh we have the look that you guys uh, saw in the video but if you were wondering how did he achieve this this is because I used some custom code this is not uh, working by default okay so this is uh, actually almost everything we have to do for this header let me show you real quick customizer go to the header tab by default you will see this one on the left side this was already here and we i've just clicked on the let me remove this the primary navigation is often uh, on the right side so i just scoot it over in here yeah and then on here i clicked on the plus i Put the button over there and then we have this contact us button if i click on the gear icon i go to the settings so here i change the, the label and it's a filled button it's visible for everyone and then in the design i set it to medium and then here it inherited automatically the colors of my uh, website if it wouldn't work you could also set them customly over here okay um the primary navigation i have created a menu called it a main menu and i've added these three pages uh, inside of it so this is something you can do from here uh, or you can do it from within the back end of wordpress as well so the other thing we have to do with our header is make it a sticky uh, header so we can go to the settings sticky over here and then and just enable sticky header it will be default on no and you say yes only the main row because this is the main row you see here that we've edited 
and then just do enable main row shrinking and by default it will be 60 pixels and this is like the little shrinking effect you have over contact here contact page is simple we're just gonna change the um padding a little bit because this is working fine over here but then on smaller screen size maybe this spacing is a bit too narrow so if we uh, edit this uh, page and we're going to our form settings we we'll go to the, the advanced so we have uh, large over everywhere if we go to the um, screen size on mobile and we um, link them all together i would set this to extra extra small for example or if you want to we can set a bit bigger on top this looks always a bit nicer if you have the possibility and then really small on the sides and then if we open this up now we go to the inspect view and we make the screen smaller you see immediately on tablet this is already the the mobile width yeah here is a tablet one and then from here it starts the mobile one and you see now the it's it's way more space to fill in everything yeah if you don't like it you can of course make it a bit bigger so there is a bit more space and then on tablet we still have the large effect but you see it changes quite fast to the mobile responsiveness so it's better always to check in your responsive view this is the tablet settings and then from here we already have the mobile settings okay so this is a quick fix for the mobile settings voila i think we have done everything now and um, so check the link in the description below if you just want to download this uh, responsive website completely finished um, for completely free as well optional you can put in an amount if you want to um, and then you can just follow the steps in the guide uh, included with it and it will be an easy install in one minute you will have this site otherwise i hope you have learned something and then i will see you in the next one bye bye